I took up painting as kind of a, a challenge or a way to uh, maybe impress some girls. A lot of the feelings I had about my disability that I'd never talked about or knew how to talk about would come out through my painting. One thing I really came to realize over the years was that I felt a lot of guilt about what had happened to me. I started to paint about my acts and I started to paint about disability. And people started to react to the paintings. They were like, oh my God, this is, this is you know, whatever, it's weird or it's crazy or scary or I like it. Some people said they liked them. So once I started to see that other people wanted to share my experience, that was when I knew this is what I had to do. My name is Matt Ciso. I'm an artist, I'm a painter, I'm a husband, I'm funny, I hope, and all that goes into every single one of my paintings. You know, somehow it does, it, it's, it's my life. The summer in 1975, I was eight years old and we used to live by a small airfield. We were playing on the runway, or near the runway, and a airplane was landing, and the propeller hit my arm and resulted in the amputation of my left hand. Before the accident, I was left-handed. There was that challenge of learning to write with my right hand and learning to you know, do simple tasks, like even just holding a fork and eating. <laughs> you know, that, that even took a little bit. But it's been 45 years since, um, since I lost my hand. I kind of now am just trying to flip the script and, and become more of like an inspiration in a sense. Trying to show people that there is happiness and there is joy that can be had in any situation. We can find a, a path out there in the world. Then it might take 40 years, but you know, you just keep the mantra going and, and you can do it. So I really put the importance of story behind my art and my process. In a lot of my paintings, like this one that I'm working on right now, there's a place where I can in introduce myself through amputation. And this is the trauma scar that I put in a lot of my paintings. It's um, from one of my surgeries I had when I was a kid. So that was like a really painful memory or scar. So I put that in a lot of my work. I know people think of me as disabled. I know people look at me as one-handed. So I thought I would just embrace it. And I think that's part of my reason to come out with my new left arm series. It's gonna be called Re-Enable. What I'm doing is I'm re-enabling my body and myself. Art makes a way for you to turn a disability into an ability in a sense. John Lennon says life was what happens when you're busy making other plans. Well, you know, that's true for all of us. And Matt took a path that few of us do with something that could have totally knocked him out, both physically and emotionally. And then he went higher. I've done around probably 17,000 paintings is my estimate now. And the, just the sheer number of times of, you know, digging through emotions, it's almost like it just doesn't, it, it doesn't register anymore. Like I don't feel bad about myself. If I am not disabled by, the lack of one hand, then I'm not disabled. When disability comes up, it, it doesn't exist in his life, it doesn't exist in, in our life. The majority of people might use that as a, as a crutch or as their identity. And Matt's just Matt, we're just us. So he's still a guy who considers himself like, I make some paintings, I hope you like them. And then what inspires me about him is just the energy and the passion that he puts into everything. The best thing in life we can do is help alleviate suffering, right? And uh, Matt's work uh, really goes to inspiring people to realize that he hurt too. He understands what it is to suffer. And yet he is someone who is mainlined into joy. And that is a promise for all of us. I had these series of challenges, these odd, wrecking challenges presented in my life. And I think I was able to figure out in my head, figure out through just life experiences, a path to this success. And I, and I feel I am successful now. I am beating the odds because I feel my success, I feel happy. I wanna keep the anger, I wanna keep the frustration on the canvas. I wanna be an 80, 90 year old man who, through my paintings, maybe help with the inspiration of others. 
So, yeah, beating the odds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>